This weekend only, get How to Master the Game for half off, plus a $250 credit towards Woman Ease Volume 3 when it drops on Black Friday. Use coupon code GAME50. Link in description. And then what did you think? Was this going to continue as a relationship? When I started like feeling like, okay, this guy actually is really nice and funny and uh, he has someone that I could date and like maybe have something with. Oh, God. Night. So he's a nice guy. Somebody that I could date. Going back to what I said earlier, notice he didn't try this on a 22-year-old hot girl. Notice he didn't try this on a 21-year-old 10. 21-year-old 10 doesn't have access to the kind of money that Simon did because she'd have blown it already, right? She'd have blown it already. At that point, she was probably looking for another Dubai sponsor. No, 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 no. Simon chose his target very carefully. He did this to a woman who is almost at the wall, and she's really not that attractive. Dude, this girl, Celia, a six, maybe a six and a half, she's really not that attractive. She's attractive enough to want to sleep with, right? But he couldn't do this to a woman who was super attractive because women who are super attractive, they're not as thirsty as women who are not as attractive as her. Women who are super attractive, dude, a 22-year-old 10, she has 18 Simons to choose from. And if she sniffs any incongruities... She's off to the races. All right, this guy might be a fake. And even if he, even if, even if he wasn't, there's another Simon who, who, who has a bigger private jet, who has more cars, more money, more Lamborghinis, can fly her to more locations. But he knows a 29-year-old, six, six and a half, is not going to have the options that a 22-year-old 10 does. This is probably, I can, dude, you can bet your bottom dollar that this guy, that this guy quote unquote, Simon Liveye, probably set his age filter from 29 to maybe 35 years old. Dude, Dude, I'm telling you, man, mark my words. If we ever get to the bottom of this, and word is he's in Panama right now, sipping on Mai Tais, I suppose, evading authorities. But if we ever get to the bottom of this, I would not be surprised if he has his age his age parameters, women from 29 to 40 years old. Thirsty, old, lonely women with money, looking for, looking for a boy toy, to, looking, for, looking for her Prince Charming, her, her hypergamy personified guy. He chose, his tar- he chose this target carefully, and she took the bait. Of course she did. She's 29. But her dream of finding Mr. Right went horribly wrong. Mr. Right, yeah. He's a nice guy. Yeah, I bet. Girls say they hate nice guys, unless, of course, they're dirty, rotty, dirty rotten, filthy, stinking rich. Big thanks to Trav with the $10 Super Chat. I hate him. He's so horrible. I hate him. No, you don't, sweetie. No. The opposite of love, gentlemen, is not hate. The, op- the opposite of love is indifference, right? You, this girl still loves him, and she wishes this fantasy were real. This is why she's crying. She's crying because she really thought she hit the jackpot, guys. She slept with a bunch of guys all through her 20s. She jumped on the carousel. She sport her way through her 20s. She probably blew off a bunch of guys, had a couple of relationships, maybe three. Friend zone, 10, 10 different dudes while the bad boys. Then right there at the edge of the wall, at 29 years old, right at the edge of the wall, you hit the jackpot and get wiped up by a billionaire. This is why she's crying. Because she thought she beat the odds. Celia says Simon told her he was an Israeli millionaire with a nickname, the Prince of Diamonds. (laughs) Dude, I love that. Yeah, by the way, I'm an Israeli millionaire. And... They call me the Prince of Diamonds. Listen, man, at the end of the day, you can call Simon whatever he, whatever you want. Simon had game, gentlemen. Simon knew exactly which buttons to push and how to push them. That's what this comes down to. Yeah, they call me the Prince of Diamonds. Awesome. I love it. Let's continue. But he wasn't who he said he was. I was very tired about crying over this, you know. But it just comes and just, I can't help it. It's just so it's, it's just so painful because I hate myself or the like I just hate that I did this. Why do you hate yourself that you did this, sweetie? Right? Listen, this girl didn't have a chance. She really didn't. She ran into a pro. Right? Oh, how, how can I not see this, sweetheart? He tapped into your female hypergamous nature. The guy checked off all the boxes. Handsome, young, rich. It's the same thing with women. Guys ask the same thing. How can I be so stupid? How could I have fallen into this trap? How could I let her turn my life upside down? Easy. She's beautiful. She has a nice body. She gives you sex on command. She pretends to like it, and you get hooked. 
That's how this happens. You know? And according to Celia, their brief romance turned into a real-life nightmare. Celia alleges Simon defrauded her out of $200,000. Damn. Leaving her spiraling into debt. Look at this picture, right? Look at this picture. This, and again, if a guy who looked like this, and again, you can see she's really not that attractive. What did I give her? A six, six and a half? I, eh, I, 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 I got to give her a 585, right? Bangable with makeup, I suppose. But dude, she's not that attractive. And look at him, he's not that attractive either. But the reason why he looks attractive, the reason why she, he was sexually arousing to her is because of his alleged wealth. Look at this guy. He's not that attractive. He, look, look, he looks like a creeper. Looks like a stalker. Looks like a geek, a nerd. We're in a polo trying to be cute and geeky suicidal and fearing for her safety uh -oh. he manages to do this because he is a great guy wait hold on wait a minute let me rewind that hold he on. manages to do this because he is a great guy say what he's a great guy look at the bemusement in her face like she really she really thinks he's a great guy sweetheart he conned you you want to believe your fantasy you want to know something guys this woman has been alpha widow and you know what? It's funny. Some guys might actually characterize this guy as an alpha. Listen, alpha males don't always play by the rules, right? Listen, um, you know, um, good God, the uh, the drug, the 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 you know, kingpins, the Medellin cartel, those were all alpha males, dude. El Chapo, alpha male. All of their dealings were illegal. So, you know, for, listen, for you, goody goodies, well, he's not an alpha male. He conned a woman. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't be so sure. This guy is constantly in the company of beautiful women. Well, beautiful-ish women. And he cons them out of funding his lifestyle. Right? Like, they buy into his bull hook, line, and sinker. But this woman has been alpha-widowed by a man who isn't who he appears to be. That's unbelievable. Look at him. She's still hung up on this guy. Look at the, look at the, look at the twinkle in her eye. Look at, the, look at that naive twinkle in her eye. That hopefulness, right? She, it's almost like, look at her face. It's almost like she hopes beyond all hope that she could just wake up and this is just all a bad dream. Who pretends that he cares so much for other people so you want to care for him as well. A lot of people watching might think if it was yeah. three or four thousand pounds, I would start to feel like I need this money back. You let it get to 200. I know it sounds so crazy for no, actually, it doesn't sound so crazy. Now, here comes the hamstring. People, but the sums weren't a lot, and I could see the spend uh, that he did yeah, on my Yeah, see? So now she's just, so how can I be so stupid, right? Now, a woman can ask herself, how can I be so stupid? I was an idiot. But now this guy says, oh, my God, like, okay, three or $4,000, fine. But you let it get to $200,000, you idiot. And then she says, no, 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 wait a minute. That's not that bad. The amounts weren't that much. I could see what he was spending. Guys, she got swindled, man. A woman is never going to let someone else tell her where she went wrong. It's the same thing with guys, right? Like it's like if you're talking to your buddy, oh, how could I do how could she do this to me? And then his buddy says, dude, like she conned you out of fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, it wasn't really that much. I mean, her mom was sick and she did need that boob job, right? So you start to hamster, you start to justify your actions. She didn't have to justify her actions. She ran up on a pro. This <laughs> dude, this guy had me fooled, to be honest with you. This is like a guy saying, oh, okay, so she swindled me out of 50 grand. Well, she did cook for me. She did meet my parents. She did tell me she loved me. And even after we find out that the people that we fall in love with aren't who they say they are, right? We all want to think that somewhere deep down that she's really not the conniving we learned that she really is. We want to think that she's a good, virtuous woman who just had a one-off mean streak and you just happen to be in the line of fire. It's the same thing with this woman. You can see in her face that she's almost delusional to the fact she's like, it, this cannot be happening to me. Simon has to be a real person. There's no way he go. okay, so he screwed me over, but there's no way this guy could really be this con artist, can he? I mean, when he told me he loved me, he looked me right in the eye. I believed every word. There's no way a man could just look into another woman's eyes and, and, tell, her, and tell her he loves her with all the passion. Like, I know I saw in his eyes. Look at her. On my cards. She's now speaking out. Oh, look at the difference between her photos online and in real life. See what makeup and filters can do. Just a side note there. Warning others about the dangers of online dating. Simon Levive, born Shimon Heyut, is a 20... Look at that. Look at those women around him. Look at those women around him. Pre-selection. 
Eight-year-old convicted con man who served three years in Finnish prison for defrauding several women to fund his lavish lifestyle. When I'm reading, gentlemen, this is game. This is game, dude. Listen, you can you can say all you want to. This isn't game. This is being a con artist. No, being a con artist requires game, dude. Some men use game for the forces of evil. Some men use game for the forces of good. A lot of men use game to get a woman and have a family, keep them in line. Some men use game to build a harem. Some men use game to sleep with random women. This dude used game to get supported by women. Messages, I as well see how much talk there is about the banks and like, and then I'm just like, you're so stupid, you know? Celia says she was lulled into a full <laughs> sense of- And by the way, I feel not one ounce of- Sorrow for this woman. I, there is no sympathy for me whatsoever. I don't care. Security by his grand romantic gestures and flowery declarations of love. Well, we'll support you. I will help you. And we will lift each other. You're nice. You're cute. You're sweet. You let me to do what I need to do. And, and I really, really, really appreciate it. Dude, these grand gestures of love. He called her. He said, you're nice. You're cute. You're sweet. You let me. Eh, he doesn't really. I don't know. He speaks broken English, right? It's almost like he learned it's almost like he learned English using Rosetta Stone. <laughs> but listen, I can sit here and laugh all I want to. I've never listen, I've never had a woman uh uh you know wire me 200 grand. I ain't never had that. So listen, I can't be mad at him. Don't knock the hustle, man. But had this been anybody else? Had this had this just been the average dude telling, "Oh, you're nice, you're cute, you're sweet. I really really appreciate it." Sending her flowers. She wouldn't have fallen in love with him. She'd have said, "Oh my god, you're a stalker." You're moving too fast. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready to be in a relationship. Nah, this chick was ready to be in a relationship after she got off the private jet. For Celia, the relationship started out innocently enough. Do you see that? How they show this innocent picture of her? Now, of course, she actually doesn't really look that innocent in this picture simply because of her eyebrows. She looks actually quite sinister. But it's funny how they put this the, the most innocent looking picture that she has when she says innocently enough. And guys, this is that subtext that I talk about when you see stories like this, right? The relationship started innocently enough as though she never, she's never done anything nefarious, as though she's never cheated on a guy, as though she's never lied to a man, as though she's never hurt a man or screwed him over. Women always get a pass for nefarious behavior. And then when something happens to them, the world stops. This was the first time that I felt, oh my God, I really like him. And it seems like he really likes me back as well. Oh, I really like him. And it seems like he really likes me. How many guys have sent this girl flowers and said, oh, I really like you. She says, ah, let's be friends. You like the feeling of being liked. When the you like the feeling of being liked by men you are attracted to. You like the feeling of being liked by men you are aroused by. This is how this works. You consider yourself to be his girlfriend. I think it was maybe a month after. A month after? That. She says, yeah, so a month after she got back. That's when I consider myself to be his girlfriend. Guys, I talk about this all the time. If you are the plan A, your woman will let you know. If you're a plan B, your woman doesn't treat you like a plan A. If you're headed for the friend zone, if after a month she, she kind of, eh, let's be friends, eh, I'm not really looking for, for anything serious. Eh, you know, I don't want to have, you know, listen, I don't want to have sex unless I'm in a relationship. I know you, I know we've all heard that before. Nah, this girl banged him the first night on that private jet. One month later, yep, I'm his girlfriend. Women told her that his job as a diamond dealer kept him traveling constantly. So they Look dated long distance. Look at this. She still has pictures of this guy. In her phone, pictures and videos and text messages. She's still hung up on this guy. This woman is alpha widow. This is unbelievable. Their romance conducted via modern day love letters, Look at texts, this. video messages, and voice recordings. I wish you a great and a beautiful and a successful and amazing day as you. Kisses. Kisses. Again, this is all sweet. Oh, he's so sweet and alpha, and he's just every he's just everything I dreamed him to be. Yeah, only because he's rich, sweetie. Simon stole away to London when he could, but Zinia says that more often than not, he flew her to where he was always alluding to an element of danger in his job that kept him away, jetting around constantly on private planes. How often would you see him? Now this is something that I had not thought of before, actually. She liked the danger, gentlemen. 
Bonnie, listen, women love dangerous men. This is why men who are on death row get thousands of love letters from adoring women. They send them naked pictures. They all marry you. I'll have your kids. Violent, dangerous men. Bonnie loved Clyde because he was dangerous. Girls love serial killers because they're dangerous. MMA, MMA fighters have girls throwing themselves at them because they're dangerous. There's that Jay-Z song called On the Run. Beyonce, and, and it's funny because in the theme, she says, I don't care if they give me life. I get all of my life from you or something to that effect. If, if loving you had, had a price or something, I, I would pay my life for you. I hear sirens while we make love. They're loud, but they don't know. They're nowhere near this. I will hold your gun in your heart. I don't care if they come. Guys, this is women love dangerous men. And now this guy really checks off the boxes. He is both the alpha and the beta bucks. Wait a minute, this guy is rich. He's handsome. He's nice to me. And he's dangerous. And this guy is this guy has enemies. This girl won't admit, she'll never admit this out loud, but this is part of the attraction. This weekend only get how to master the game for half off plus a $250 credit towards Womanies Volume 3 when it drops on Black Friday. Use coupon code GAME50. Link in description.